Hey guys, it is Lisa. It is Sunday and it's about 8 15 at night. Um, and tonight's video, I'm going to go over how I bathe both the kids at the same time by myself. Um, if not every night, every other night. So usually it's earlier than this, but we were having dinner over at a relative's house. So we didn't get home till like 7 30. Um, so this is the kids' bathroom. They have their own bathroom. So normally, before bath time starts, I'm, I get a couple things ready because I know I'm doing this by myself. So, and I bathe both kids at the same time. So what I do is I grab a diaper for Elam, a diaper for Jojo, a, um, pajama for Jojo and a pajama for Elam. And I'll take them and I'll bring them in here and... I will lay them both on the ground. I will also lay a towel down so that when I grab them out of the bath, they're not laying on the cold tile. So I'll lay a towel down and then a towel that I'm going to wrap them with. Next to here, it's kind of nice because if I need like an extra towel or an extra washcloth, it's all kind of right next to me. So I'll get that all ready and then I will get their toothbrushes ready and I will put the Colgate on them and then I will get their bath time lotion. We use the baby bedtime lotion. Um, so I lotion them both up. So I will have their pajamas and their diapers laid out. I will get both of them undressed. Usually toss their clothes right over here in their hamper. <clears throat> um, and then put both of them in the bathtub. They will, um, take a bath together and splash. And usually Elam goes in first. And then Josie goes in after him because Josie gets cold a lot quicker and she likes to play, but she doesn't like to play as long as him. But they're in the bath for probably, we're in the bathroom for probably like 45 minutes from the time it comes. That's all their toys. So from as long as it takes for me to get them undressed and in the bathtub playing out of the bathtub, lotioned up, that's, it's about 45 minutes. So Elam goes in first, then I put Jojo in, and I will wash Josie first while Elam plays. And I'll usually sit right over here in this corner. So that way when I take one of them out, I can put them right in front of me. So, like I said, Elam goes in first. Jojo goes in second. I wash Josie while Elam plays. And then I'll let Josie play for a little bit. And then I'll wash Elam. Then I'll take Josie out of the bathtub while Elam's still playing. Get her dried off. Lotion her up. Put her diaper on. Put her pajama on. Um, and then she'll kind of like walk in and out of the bathroom while I drew, I'll get all the toys out because Elam at this time is still playing with toys. So I'll put all the toys away. I will start draining the bathtub and then I'll grab Elam out. <laughs> the reason why I do this is Elam is notorious for after getting him dry and um, diaper on, teeth brushed, he will go and jump back in the tub. And I have left water in that tub a couple times. So he is in full pajamas, ready to go to bed when he jumps back in the bathtub. So now we put toys away, drain the water, get the child out, and then do the same for him, put lotion on. Um, so both of them are lotioned up with their pajamas on, and then we will do teeth at the same time. I make sure Elam's sitting down in front of me. He brushes his own teeth. Um, and I'll brush Josie's and then I will brush Elam's teeth. So it gives him kind of the independence to, you know, I'm showing him on Josie's teeth, how to brush his teeth, but he's really good at brushing his teeth. Um, ever since he was little, me and my husband would brush our teeth with him. So he knows how to move it up and down side to side, um, brush his tongue. So he's really good, but I always do a second, like go through. So like I said, it is a very long process, but this is the easiest way for me to do both kids at the same time be safe so I'm never taking my eyes off of any of them that are in the water um and it works and I've never had any issues Elam I don't put that much water in it anyways but like I said I'm sitting really close to the bathtub while this is all going on so if Elam was to ever like suck in water because he loves to like lay down on his belly and start blowing bubbles which is really good practice because he is going to be swimming here soon so that is our nighttime routine. Um, after I give them a bath and brush their teeth, I will, um, Josie's still awake, so we're gonna go visit her. I will put Elam to bed. He is actually, I think he's still awake. We will say a prayer, say na-night. Na-night. 
I will put a VeggieTale movie on for him. And I set the timer so he's able to watch this. And he's able to watch this and then basically when it turns off he falls asleep. He does have a fan over here in the corner that that has to be plugged in and he goes to bed. Na night. Love you. Can you blow kisses? Can you say na night? Okay. Alright, so that is how he goes to bed. Josie, I will make her a bottle. I will lay her down to eat most of her bottle. Hi. Um, and then, like, she's eight. This was full. This was eight ounces. So there's about an ounce to two ounces left. And she always leaves that ounce to two ounces because she wants me to pick her up. And I do rock her a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of, while I'm here, I'm going to turn on her side light. She has a humidifier that gets turned on. And we just kind of quiet things down. So I'm going to turn off the light. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, one last thing. Um, normally, after I get Elam in his bed um, with the movie on and Josie in her room with her bottle, I will come in here and, like I said, I will just kind of clean up. I will hang up their towels. Um, fix this area, make sure that there's no, like, spare, loose toys in the bathtub. Um, I'll pick up everything, like, I'll wash, put away their toothbrushes, I'll wipe this off, and then I will put their clothes in the hamper if I didn't already do that. And that takes me, like, like a minute or two. I mean, it's just really picking up, but that way this room is clean. So after, um, I go in, back in, and rock Josie for a minute and fiddle, finish her bottle, um... This room's done. Like, I don't have to worry about coming back in here. So that really helps just kind of picking up as I go, especially, um, like I said, it's for the more majority of the time, it's me. So just making sure, like, I pick up after myself because that's a heck of a lot easier than, like, doing the entire house at the exact same time. So um, sometimes what I'll do is after I have both the kids bathed, I will go in both of their rooms, um, clean it up. And then I'll put Elam down with the movie on. And then I'll go in JoJo's room, clean it up, put her down. So at the end of the night, I know pretty much every room's picked up. All toys are put away. Um, and then I go to bed, <laughs> to be honest. I am an old lady. When my kids are in bed, I'm in bed. Because Josie still wakes up several times during the night. So I will go and um, clean out this bottle. This is the one that she didn't finish tonight. She just basically wanted her binky and go to bed because she was tired. So I'll, I'll clean that out, wash it out, fill it up with milk, um, put it in the refrigerator, and go take my butt to bed. So again, if you guys have any questions, leave them below in the comment box. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All right, guys. I'm just going to show you my nighttime routine. It is 8.44. I just got done finished cleaning up the kitchen. Um, I've got a load of laundry I'm starting. These are our seeds that we are planting we just put the seedlings in today, so got all those on here. Um, they go basically in front of this window during the day because this window gets nice and warm. So just changed out some loads, got that going. Um, just started the dishwasher. So, oh. so I'll get that going. I've got a couple of dishes I need to do that didn't fit in the dishwasher. I just finished washing those. And then I took out a pork roast for dinner tomorrow. I'm also going to get the coffee pot ready. Um, every night I go through my diaper bag and um, clean it out and put in new diapers if I need to be. So I just got done doing that, getting my ergo ready, and then I've got to run an errand by myself. So I kind of take some stuff that I'll leave with their grandma um, and put it in my, my purse and vice versa. So other than that, the living room's picked up, um, and I'm already in my pajama pants, so I am going to hit the hay. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, but that's kind of like a day in the life rundown of what I do every night with two little ones and me by myself. Hubby will be home tonight around like 1230, so it is kind of nice for him um, right now. He's home every day, so he gets off, he gets home at midnight. 12.30, and he'll sleep until about 8, and so he's with us pretty much all day, and then he has to work at 3, so that's kind of nice, um, having him home the majority of the time that the kids are awake, so, yeah, God bless you guys, and happy Monday, I'm gonna upload this tonight, so you'll actually see it tonight, hopefully, if YouTube isn't being stupid, because they've been super, super slow and stupid the last couple days, 
All right, bye.